Shepadoodle Guide. The Shepadoodle is a trending doodle on the rise, and many doodle owners are looking to pick up the dog along with other variants on the classic doodle breeds, such as Husky Poo, Golden Mountain Doodle, and more as they start to pop up around the United States. The Shepadoodle is a mix between a German Shepherd and a Poodle, proving that two very different dogs in appearance and temperament can combine to make a super amazing mix. Today, we are going to be breaking down some of the intricacies with the mix, what makes them unique, and some potential things to be mindful of. Let's get started, shall we? The Shepadoodle has many names, like Shepapoo, Shepu Shepherd Poodle, or Shepdoodle, but we're going to stick with Shepadoodle for the sake of this video. The Shepadoodle is a designer dog, originally bred to help with disabled people who had allergies, but since roughly 2007 has become increasingly popular amongst dog owners. The Poodle and German Shepherd couldn't be more different, but combined help to bring out each of their best qualities, such as being loyal, intelligent, loving, and non-shedding. Take a look at the German Shepherd. You start to see where the Shepadoodle gets their loyalty from. The German Shepherd was exclusively considered a farm dog for years, until World War I, when people began to realize how loyal and loving they can truly be. Today they are a preferred choice for military service, police work, or disability services, and are the second most registered dog by the American Kennel Club behind the Golden Retriever. Compare that to the standard Poodle, who is one of the most popular dog breeds in the world because of their non-shedding nature, loving nature, and docile behavior. When mixed into a Shepadoodle, it creates something unique and special. They can vary a lot in appearance, but a combination of black and brown is the most popular coat that you will see. They can also appear in any combination of tricolor, black, white, or brown, or even a single darker color. It isn't just that their coat is impressive though, as they have a noteworthy temperament for being playful, adventurous, and curious. The Shepadoodle is very energetic and requires a lot of stimulus to be able to get the best version of your dog. If they lack these stimuli, it is common that the dog may get into destructive activities, such as scratching, chewing, and other stuff that nobody wants happening in their home. Shepadoodle coat types vary based on the lineage of the parents and whether or not they have more Poodle or more German Shepherd genetics. Generally, Shepadoodles with more Poodle genetics will have more curly coats that are hypoallergenic and non-shedding. On the other hand, Shepadoodles with more German Shepherd will have coats that are straighter and tend to shed more. We are going to briefly get into the more scientific part of the breed, and so we're going to run you through some terminology real quick to get you caught up. First, the letter F stands for filial, which means that your dog is a hybrid. Since Shepadoodles are mixed between a Poodle and a German Shepherd, they are considered a hybrid. Second, the number stands for generation. So F1, for example, means that it is a first generation hybrid. Lastly, there can also be a B, which stands for back crossed, something common with doodles to back cross with the poodle again to try and ensure the hypoallergenic trait gets passed on. With Shepadoodles, the most popular generations are usually F1 or F1B, but in some cases, you may see an F2 Shepadoodle as well. An F1 Shepadoodle means that 50% of the genetics are German Shepherd and the other 50% is Standard Poodle. Since it is the first generation, it is very difficult to predict what the offspring will inherit, making this a tough dog to know what it will look like, even down to the appearance and coat type or color. Because of this, many opt for the F1B, which is only 25% German Shepherd versus 75% Standard Poodle. This better ensures that you will have the hypoallergenic coat and it will also be more curly and wavy as well. If you are someone with allergies, this is a very smart pick. Not only are there tons of different coats and colors for the Shepadoodle, but there are also a lot of different sizes as well. There is the Micro, Toy, Petite Shepadoodle. These range from 25 to 35 pounds and are typically bred with a small-sized male Poodle and medium-sized female German Shepherd. 
These make great pets for people living in smaller houses, apartments, or condos, and don't have a yard that their dog can openly run in. These are good options for people that want a slightly less, lower energy dog as well. Next up is the Mini or Miniature Shepadoodle. This name is a tad bit confusing since the dog will still weigh anywhere from 35 to 45 pounds, but try to keep in mind that a full-grown German Shepherd will usually weigh about 90 pounds, and the name makes a little more sense in comparison. Finally is the biggest size of the Shepadoodle, the Standard. At anything over 45 pounds, this dog is going to take a lot of time and energy to take care of and will most likely require daily exercise to live a happy and fulfilled life. Only really consider this size if you are willing to put in the work to take care of them. But if you prefer a larger sized dog, this one might be perfect for you. Is the Shepadoodle the dog for me? If you consider yourself someone who enjoys an active animal that is smart and loyal, then yes, the Shepadoodle is a great dog and its only downsides are about whether or not the owner is willing to meet their level of care. Even doodle owners of different kinds might be surprised to see how unique and interesting the shepherd doodle is. They are truly a special animal, and their owners would assuredly agree. If you liked this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing, because it really helps us out a ton. Thank you for watching, and we hope you were able to learn something about shepherd doodles, or just doodles in general.